Autoimmune diseases are diseases that are caused by an attack of our immune system against our own tissues. The immune system, instead of uh, you know, uh, fighting off a virus or a bacteria that is infecting us or a cancer cell, uh, decides that it wants to get rid of the kidney or wants to get rid of the brain. Uh, and that causes inflammation in the organ that is being attacked. The only thing we know how to do today is to suppress the entire immune system, all the white blood cells that we have in our body, um, and the consequences of that are, of course, uh, an increased risk of infection, an increased risk of cancer. The autoimmune disorders that we're currently targeting, targeting are four, uh, type 1 diabetes, uh, celiac disease, inflammatory bowel disease, as well as autoimmune liver diseases. What Navasims do is they selectively reprogram the white blood cells that are attacking an organ, they reprogram them into white blood cells that now instead of attacking, they want to suppress inflammation. So they are disbanding the army of white blood cells that are inflaming the tissue, they're telling them to go away. Uh, so basically they're, they're reprogramming an effector cell, a killer cell, into what we call a regulatory cell. And then there is a massive expansion of that population of white blood cells and that, those white blood cells can only uh, disband inflammation in the organ that they were attacking in the first place. So we're basically converting an attack into a defense. It's a new class of medicine because it does, uh, it does something that the existing medicines cannot do. Um, the existing medicines for autoimmune diseases, essentially what, what they do is they suppress uh, the ability of the immune system to protect us against infections. The patients who would most benefit would be the patients who are affected by diseases for which there is absolutely no treatment available to them. And then the next uh, set of patients that would benefit would be those who have, uh, who are responding to existing treatments, but, but that because of the treatment they are uh, susceptible to an increased risk of infection and cancer. So if we could replace those medicines with the new medicines, then that risk would presumably disappear. We're doing research because it is our responsibility to provide the outcome of the research to the patients who are in need.